Honestly, the facility here is pretty amazing. Uh, they've done a great job. It's, I mean, it's one of the biggest tracks I've ever seen for karting. Um, I can say though, um, parts of the track are magnificent, but uh, the chicanes are just horrible. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I can't understand why you build a racetrack with chicanes in it. But, um, but to be fast, you got to jump over the chicanes, which is hard on the equipment, it's hard on your body, <laughs> and uh, so I, I can do without the chicanes. Other than that, the facility is great. Yeah, qualifying was fantastic. Um, obviously, we were on the pole, and uh, I was a little bit worried because on one of the chicanes, I nicked the cone, and uh, they took away that lap, and luckily it wasn't my fast lap that, that it happened. Luckily, they didn't take away my fast lap, so um, anyway, pulled off pole, which I got to be happy about that, so starting on, on pole for all three heat races is really important, um, but today in the, in the heat race, uh, it rained. The rain came in, and it torrential poured and, and uh, it looked like it was going to stay completely dry and all of a sudden the sun popped out, wind was blowing and 90% of the track dried out but we still had to go on wets and everyone did and uh, I had a really old set of bad wet, wet tires uh, that were way out of round or something I don't know, they were just bad tires altogether and so uh, I struggled to, to finish third so the heat race didn't go well as planned but at least I salvaged a third out of that so you know during this type of a deal where you got those three heat races just to finish, 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 you know and so coming home third in the heat race is just fine for the, for the first heat.